using your crystal ball, Paddy, what is the crack with, uh, what, what do you think, what, what are you looking at? Three things that you're going, fuck, I need to get onto that. <laughs> well, I think the first one, which is, is obvious to the majority of people, is just utilizing the support. So um, your uh, restart grants, making sure, like, I still can't fathom respectfully to, to, to someone who hasn't done it. I, I, we're still getting emails from people saying, is, is that grant still available? Should I apply now? And I'm like, cheers, lads. You know, your rates, you could have got two and then you could have got another four. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's blindly obvious. Take half an hour, turn off the phone and look and either ask us or look at the group and go, okay, I can access this. I can access this support and that support. What free training can I do? What amazing business mentor group who specialize in therapies is there out there that I could access? <laughs> I don't know, maybe practice now. Um, I, I think as well as is something that we're looking at is, is you know, if, if you do need a loan, you know, the micro loans that, that, that distributing your, your, your uh, outgoing slash, we've done a thing whereby with our 13 week cash flow planner, and I think it's been great. We have a page or a tab. <laughs> where we just literally put all our debts, you know, everything that we owe and, and the backlog from revenue and all these bits and pieces. And I don't know about you, but every, every day you're looking at it going, boom, that's down, that's down, that's down, that's yeah, down. And it's literally very close clear to well. Some incentive to know, okay, see, again, we'll be open on this tax paid, pre-tax paid, all the bits and pieces. We're clear. We're in the clear. So my challenge to people is going, get that bit sorted. Know where you stand. Know where you're going to stand in September, October. If the government payment stuff stops in the morning, where do you stand? Can you take that restart grant? Can you put it in a little pot and have it there? That's the best case scenario. If not, can you use it now? But how are you going to accrue your money back when the banks come knocking, the landlord puts the rates back up or rent back up when revenue and all these pieces? What's your debts? Because that, for me, is the blind spot that is going to cripple some of us. And... Um, I know it's very business orientated, but we have to be able to run a business and we have to know those numbers. So that's my kind of first point. So that's the first thing, use the resources available. So yeah. the LEO money, all that sort of stuff. So if you haven't, send an email to your accountant today to go, can I organize a call with you? Uh, ASAP, I want to know where I stand for my tax and my pre-tax. All Get that shit organized. The other thing is reach out to the local enterprise board uh, or local, depending on the country you're in, local government support. There may be some resources or grants. If you're looking for money, have a look at the microfinance. There's, there's very low interest rates on those. Uh, and But then, obviously, they will ask for information from your accountant. So if you haven't talked to your accountant, there's no point in looking at that shit. So speak to your accountant. Yeah, it's it's a loop, isn't it? If you're going to apply for one of those loans, they're going to want the information. It's a bit like whatever, doing your tax return. Are your tax returns literally... Yeah, there's the info, it's online. Or is it, oh my God, receipts? What foreign cabinet is that in? Where do I go looking for? And it, it means the difference between, you know, a, a simple application and going, actually, I have a debt of 20 grand. God, could I refinance that with a microfinance loan? I don't have to pay for the first X amount. The repayment rates are only going to be X, 2%. I could save X amount. Now that's sort of the basics first, but then you're looking at the bigger picture going, just, I could box clever this. The government wants us to stay in business. I want small business to stay in business. So it's a unique opportunity. To make yeah. the moment. Definitely. Um, okay, so that's so I suppose number one on that would be uh, using the resources. Uh, yeah. like using the government supports, sports. Okay. So number two then, Paddy, going forward. Amazingly, it's communication again, isn't it? <laughs> Um, and that comes back to our earlier conversation with, uh, I think, communicating with the, the team. So if you have a team of people with you and um, figuring out where they're at, because, you know, they could be different counties, different family dynamics, different, there's a general sense of anxiety and anxiousness. So chatting to them about where they're at, but also drawing on their knowledge and their skill set. And as we discussed earlier, fitting into our, our bigger picture of, okay, we're going to change our tack with Compass Physio. We're going to change our offering slightly. We're going to change how we deliver that. Team, here's how we're going to do it. 
what are your thoughts on it? What input do you guys have? Okay, really like that point. Don't see that bit working, but we're going to use this. So they feel part of that journey as well. So they have something that in this time of madness, they can, they can feel involved in. And I think the biggest thing from a marketing point of view, we still have people contacting about, you know, Facebook ads and Google ads and this kind of stuff. And great, but let, let's focus on the basics. Let's, let's focus on your database, focus on contacting the people that you have, send them an email. How are you? How's, how's all? Uh, reaching out to them to check that they've recovered from their injury if they dropped off. It, it's sorting out the holes in the bucket, isn't it? And it's something yeah. we're constantly trying to do. And the low hanging fruit and that costs nothing a little bit of time for you or your admin to do that so i think it's going back to the basic communicate with your team about the dynamic situation how it's changing often the reassurance if you're you might know that you're in the black and you're doing well they might be worried going it's quiet here what's going to happen you know i'm a bit worried about this they could be looking at other jobs they could be at home stressing about it so good clear chat with them ask them for their input and let's go back to communicating and over look i think communicating with patients and giving them a sense of belonging. Do you create a little group for them, for your, your, your private patients, your, your group, and offer them support and reassurance through that? Um, and that may be, I, I suppose, we judged on yesterday in the Practice Now Plus call, is like the, the amount of training you give your staff and the amount of education you give your staff. So sometimes you think, oh, yeah, let's touch base once a month, see how we're getting on. I, I would say in this current climate, you need to be touching, the state, touching base with your staff in a group level weekly and then on a one-to-one -one level weekly as well it's uh, just to go hey what's up what's happening at home everything okay uh right what have you picked up from last week uh is there anything we can help you with uh, i think that's really really important yeah savage savage questions uh, and, and look nothing here is is you know air chattering there's no magic it's just consistency isn't it it's just doing it communicate yeah, 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 and that's 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 what turns the dial a little bit and, and makes a big difference in a, in a good business and, and keeps you. Why not spend a thousand euro, Paddy, on Facebook adverts? It'd be great. We could, Colin, uh, but we won't. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, look, it's all about layers, and, and if you've got the holes in the bucket sorted and you've got your, your, your team and your setup and everything bang on, your patient processes, then yeah, you can look to expand and, and, and hit your Facebook ads and your Google ads. And, and all of that but there's a lot of organic stuff that you can do that uh, get that right first and that's the biggest thing we're seeing there's very very few clinics that we see who are ready to operate at a, a higher level marketing level yeah um yes. number three um, Paris, that's communication what yeah. is the third thing you're looking for in the next six months planning planning and projections projecting it's impossible to say exactly what's going to happen but it's looking at um, you know, we look at our, our 13 week cash flow. What is that going to look like? Roughly, where's our outgoings? Where do we potentially see a dip? You know, is November, December time going to be quieter? It's going to be a 20, 30% 20 downturn potentially on clients. How do we react to that? What's our staffing costs? What else can we do to get a passive revenue stream? Do we have a monthly subscription model? Do we have some other things that we can tweak? Um, so I think it's, it's, it's planning, definitely. Um, and looking for support so I think definitely that's the value of the, the Back to Snap Plus group is there's what a good 20 people in there now who get on a call every week and they're sharing ideas and, and look I make it on most calls but you, you know you're offering support to people but you leave with one nugget you leave with one nugget of I really like that I wonder could I action that today and go away and see does it work for your business and, and that's the value so it's constantly having your mind opened because anyone who tells you here's what's going to happen and this is how it's going to look in november and here's going to look in march is talking absolute bullshit <laughs> you know it's not like we can compare it to last year it's just completely different um so so plan, planning i suppose with the planning you will go right here's potentially three scenarios that may happen so it's yeah. having different scenarios laid out to go right Planning, okay, there's no lockdown. That's plan number one. Plan number two, there's a lockdown next week. What do you do? Plan number three is one of my staff tests positive for COVID. What do I do? So it's all... Can you exactly, can you have a 10-step action plan whereby, yeah, okay, Colin, got a phone call. Colin's, I don't know, Colin's got COVID. Yeah, well, um, like, 
Nikki has been there. tested every week in the hospital, so Nikki tests positive COVID, right? Colin's in close counters with Nikki. Yeah, definitely okay. going to be an issue. Fine, uh, we're going to spend two or three hours. Here's the plan. Uh, phone calls are going to be made. Uh, people are aware that it might flip from a, a face-to-face to a, a, a virtual consultation. That's almost teed up and on the radar. Here's how it's going to look for the next two weeks. So it's having your step-by-step process in there and whether it's um, best, as you said there, best case scenario from a projections point of view, 70% scenario and then maybe 50% scenario. So what do you need to do to make them work? Yeah, um, yeah I think, look, the law of average dictate there's going to be someone who comes into your clinic because there's going to be some sort of a contact with a team or something whereby there will be a question mark over most people's going to at some point. It's about how you deal with that. I know. Yeah, fine. Okay. Fine. It's self isolate. Here's how it's going to work. Um, Are you willing to accept the risk? Yeah. yeah. So it's not catastrophized. It's just having that informed. Yeah. Okay. I know how I'm going to react to that and, uh, and here, here are the steps that I'm going to follow. Um, I suppose with that then Barry it's, it, that's referring back to step number two or point number two that you're making is that communication with the other staff members it's like okay that's here's the, here's the plan if we do get a positive test so I, I think the key thing with with you know if, if I'm gone okay if I disappear for two weeks you can step in okay and it, it's knowing that uh, there is that uh, that kind of transition. So for, for people who are on their own or people who have maybe a small number of staff that's going, okay, well, look, I won't be gone. I might be just sitting at home, but I can I can manage things from there. Um, yeah, and I'll just jump in on that one. If you are gone, like worst case scenario here, like I was, I was writing the blog about the solicitor yesterday and we published that there this week and it's like, okay, what's your infrastructure as regards wills and I know this is a bit morbid, but like wills set up, even if it's not COVID or you get in a car crash or whatever, worst case scenario here. Um, but like, what happens if you die tomorrow or if you're on a ventilator for like, you know, six weeks, what, what happens to clinic? These are questions that you need to go. Like I know if, if something happened to me, Paddy would go, right, yeah, grand would take over, or vice versa. We have that implemented. We have that system there. But it's like... I'd send you some flowers, Colin. Yeah, cheers. I'll send you some food. Uh, <laughs> but, but I suppose, yeah, look, if we're going to the higher level, it's going. It's a bit morbid, but like you have to ask yourself the question, right? Yeah. Four or six weeks in hospital, what's the story? Yeah, we have that all written down, don't we? We need to probably yeah. review. We have that in the contract. You know, if something happens to me, something happens to you, spouses, you know, how, how all that works. But it's also going, depending on where you want to get to, do you have a business whereby you, you could disappear for a month and mm. it would be okay? That's a proper business. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, that's good. So I suppose looking at that is we're, we're going back to the supports available. So whether it's LEO, government, that sort of stuff, um, or even practice now reaching out to us guys. We've got a really good group and it's not just us within the group. There's some really, really clever uh, entrepreneurs in that group who are just willing to help. Everyone is getting on really well in the group and it's, it's interesting to see. <laughs> And I think that's the one thing I always, one of the reasons, obviously, you kind of, you're pushing this on or we're trying to make it work is that we don't really have that as, um, as a therapy group. We probably don't have that. We will work together and figure stuff out together. It can be very insular. And I'm in my clinic having the same worry as the person in the next town down the road. And actually, do you know what? <laughs> there might be a tiny bit of crossover, but let's help each other out and we'll all win in this. So that, that's the, yeah. 100%. And then, and then it's the communicating again. So that's the same as what you've learned in the last six months. It's going forward, right? It's that communication with all the staff members. Here's what happens if X, Y, and Z happens. And then the final thing then is planning, guys. So make sure you have your your plans in place for whatever is likely to happen, whether it's one, two, or three. Look, neither of them scenarios may happen, but at least you have some sort of structure that you could adapt one of those plans to suit the given moment with whatever is happening and, and make the time so are too busy have too many patients block off one hour and now <laughs> in a week's time or 10 days time in the diary that's my worst case scenario planning time phone off here's what's going to happen it'll be invaluable absolutely invaluable i would say if there's one thing you take from today if you haven't already done it and you don't know your situation speak to your accountant today or by the end of this week in order to get your idea of tax liabilities, 
debt and all that sorted. If you have done that, reach out to the LEO. If you've done that and you reach out to the LEO, then reach out to Practice Nav and come join us in September when we open the doors to the Practice Nav Plus group because that's where it'll be real gold in that one. Thank you. Very Any good. Questions, thoughts, comments below. Pop them up, guys, and we'll chat then. Okay. Thanks, buddy.